What's up, everybody? Leroy McCoy, the man of the hour, the man with the dower. Not only am I also that, I am also a scholar. I love to learn. I have such a, oh, especially when I'm into it, I just, just want to know more and more and more and more about it. And so somebody asked me on my YouTube account, they said, Leroy, how do you study? That was the question. How do you study? I'm not doing so hot in college. What can I do? How do you so give me some tips on how to study? I have a lot of memorization. I have to read a lot of chapters. I can't seem to focus when I study in my house. And this was by uh, You Lose. So <laughs> that was the username. My first tip would be get a new username or change your username to something more positive. Like you win, not you lose. And into the studying, it's, it all really depends on what class you're taking. Like when well, the class I'm taking, anatomy and physiology, like I got index cards for days. Like I got. This is biology. This right here is just strictly biology. This is anatomy and physiology. If people are taking, you know it's a hard class. This right here is anatomy. If you read these these index cards, you will pass anatomy and physiology because that's straight memorization. Let me take this off. It's disturbing me. And it's probably distracting too. But yeah, the purple is for Lincoln. Class of 2009. You already know. In the building. Throw my L's in the air. Lincoln. Woo. Anyways. It's a lot of memorization, so you just have to memorize things. You can make index cards because, yeah, the physiological, like all the physiology is a concept that you have to, you know, understand and wrap your head around it. That's the first step. But memorization is memorization. That's index cards right there. That's all you really need. You know, it's mem memorizing the bones, the muscles, the ligaments, this, that, and there, all the bones in here, like scaphoid, lunate, triquetrium, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Like, that's, there's no rhyme or reason to that. You could, I put into a song, Scafe, Luna, Trium, Trapezium, Trapezoid, what? Like, say, I messed up the thing right there, but I, when I need to take that test, I memorized it. And, like, things like that. You can make little songs. That's what I do for memorization. There's a, there's a lot of, um, receptors in, like, nicotinic, nicotinic, muscarinic, you know, alpha, beta, dopaminergic, and these, some are excitatory, some are inhibitory. So I did E, 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 I, E, I, E, E, I, E, I. I, I. And if you wrote down N1, N2, M1, M2, M3, M4, M5, Alpha 1, Alpha 2, Beta 1, Beta 2, D1, and D2, that all corresponds. So that's a one that's one way to do it. But to study in general, you need three three points. You see the triangle, you connect the dots, and it'll be in your head forever. My, I'm taking pharmacology right now. It's again memorization. Like there's a lot of there's a lot of concepts, and I love the concept. I love learning about like how you take this and what receptor it hits, and how your liver metabolizes it, and your kidneys excrete it, reabsorb a little bit, send a little bit out. The half life is in your plasma, things like that. I love that. But then it's memorizing all these drugs. It'll all list of drugs, list of drugs, list of drugs, list of drugs. You have to know, and not only know the drugs, you have to know the trade names. You have to know. What, what drugs to not give them with, what to give it for, what's the adverse effects, contradictions, you know, contraindications, indications of all these things. So, a lot of people in that class, they record it. I've never did, let me turn this. I've never recorded a class. I'm not going to knock that. But the way I learn is, I in class, I just, as far as my teacher just talks, like Chef Owen, he knows everything. He's so smart. Shout out to Dr. Bernardi. A lot of people are like, oh, yeah, he's a man. No, he's a very smart guy. He could just talk off the top of his head. He's in, he'll write on the board like big words and to like, draw out constant things. But I'm just in class like, <gasps> like it's all sloppy. I just want to get it down as quick as I can to keep up with the pace. And then I go home and rewrite my notes. And this is a really nice little, it's a little test book lift, you know, when you write essays. But my, I, I, I use this. And I rewrite all my notes. And I think about them as I'm writing. I put it into my own words, sort of, so I can really... And I write it down, and that really, really helps me to, to wrap my head around the concept. Because once you can once you can take your mind and stretch it around the circumference of the topic, it's going to make everything so much more easier. If you just try to memorize a whole bunch of stuff, you got a lot of memorization, but you, know, you never really conglomerated it into, like, you know, into a sphere of knowledge, and that's what you need. So I write, the, I write notes in class. I write them again. They're still in the writing section. I rewrite them. I think about it in my mind and turn it into my own things, and then I do the index cards. So that's three ways. You can you can write the notes. You could write them, write everything down, record it, audio record it, and do something else, supplement it with that. But as long as you have three, as long as you have three ways, it all depends on what class you're taking and how you learn the best. That's what it is. If you have to read a whole chapter, and I also recommend getting out of your house. When I go to the school and sit down in a in a in a you know place where everybody's working, that's the mindset. Everybody's in that mindset. Work. Even if you're by yourself, work. But in your house, you have something like, oh, on Facebook, oh, on Instagram, oh, let me get something to eat. Oh, the show is on. Oh, let me do this. Oh, let me. Oh, I gotta. You gotta focus on this. But then you're thinking of other things. Oh, you know, I never really cleaned that thing over there. Let me go clean that. Even though it's something good, beneficial, but not beneficial for right now. Like you get distracted too easily. Like, oh, you know, I never really looked at this thing the way I used to. When you know. 
So get out of this setting. This setting is too. You can do it. You can if you put your mind to it. But it's easier if you go to a school or like a just an isolated place. You just sit down and just rewrite everything. Well, that's what works for me. I rewrite everything. And I do the index cards and I think about it in my head. So that's three. That's like that's the trifecta for me. You can what record. A lot of people will put a little voice recorder in the class and poof. And, and let the, let you know I would I would because I the way I I'm not gonna knock that that probably works very good for people but I would listen to it and be thinking about other things or well, who knows I never tried it maybe I should anyways but yeah as long as you have a three that's this is the main this is the way you study three things you can make the index cards the audio visual however whatever as long as you study three kinds of ways it's gonna be in your head and know this that everything from birth and maybe probably even before that but I'm not gonna argue that topic here. From birth until right now, everything, everything is being recorded in your subconscious mind, your superconscious mind, unconscious, whatever you want to call it, it's your superconscious mind, records everything, everything that ever happens is being recorded in your mind. So know that when you go into a test, yeah, your brain deletes what they call irrelevant, what's not right, it doesn't really delete it, but you know, it's like, it's not going to really retain it, all of that, but you've heard it all, so you take the test, think, I've, I've heard this information, I was in class, the teacher said these things to me, he knows, like, you know it. It's there. You heard it. You looked at it in the paper. You looked at that page in the book. You just have to archive. You have to, you know, go back to that. Where is it saved in your brain? And bring it, pull it to the forefront of your consciousness. So that's how I study. I go into a test knowing, knowing that I know all the information there. I just have to recollect it. And, you know, but index cards. Index cards are the, are the best. But not only, you can't just index cards a whole chapter. You have to read a chapter. Just index card the key terms. That will help. But you also have to read. You have to read that chapter. You can't skim it. You really sit down and put time. That's the... How do you study? You devote time. There's no... Boom. Oh. Hit yourself in the head with the book and just... Bam. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's not. There's no shortcut. There's no secret like that. If there is, I don't know about it. Devote your time and your energy. Your your conscious energy. You focus on it and you will get it done. You will get a lot done. It's, everybody learns different, but you have to three. It's the triangle, the trifecta, and it will retain it in your brain. And if it doesn't, you're not doing it right. You're not really. You're not. You're not. You don't want to do it. That's what. That's is your willpower. It's your intent. If you're sitting down, oh, I gotta study for this thing. Man, let me see. Yeah, this. Yeah, okay, I study. No, you have to be. All right, let's do this. You get into that. Even it takes a little building yourself up. Reward yourself after. Get yourself prepped for it. Ready. All right, yeah, I'm about to study today. Today's the day. I got. I got this little gap right here in my day. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do, and you do it, and you feel better, and you know it. So that's what I'm about to do. I just wrote all this thing. I'm about to just review. I'm about to just look at it because, you know, learn about, okay, yeah, cool. So that's how that works. And once those light bulbs, once you start connecting those dots, everything flows easier. This is the longest video I ever did, but it's for a reason. It's to help everybody and help myself. So be easy. I wish you best success on all your tests. Deuces.